Good morning, Minxy ladies. We are so excited to have Mel in this morning. Honestly, this woman came um, bouncing in through our front door, all dressed in creed. She had a beautiful little, um, they were kind of like our, the Beckett. The Beckett. Oh, see, she's in the Beckett. Oh my God, I love Mel. Um, she had her Beckett boots on, which were the, the beautiful ropey sole platform. Um, it's kind of sneakery boot. That's yeah. so cool. Anyway, she looked amazing. She looks still amazing, obviously. Um, so this morning, ladies, we, we're actually appealing for your help, really, more than anything. Um, she's put on a couple of boot options this morning um, after watching the live. She thought she might try the radical boot yesterday that we profiled, which is that really high, grungy boot. So remembering that's coming up to the leg. And I guess she's got that sort of dress where you can see that, you know, it's covering these no-skin sandwich there. But then, interestingly, she did put the other boot on which is our lee boot we'll get you to flip around thanks oh mel i feel like you might have done this before um she's a pro so she's got the um the lee boot on in black with that beautiful leather ankle um strap there and she's sort of like oh my gosh i don't know which ones to go for so we, we've also got um our gorgeous caitlin in today for wearable wednesday or something wednesday i'll get you to zoom around caitlin so um so caitlin was here and she said she gave some really good advice to Mel, so, and I'm going to let her talk about the advice she gave to Mel, particularly about these black boots. Just while she's doing that, have a little think. She needs your help. Are we going to go right foot with the radical boot, which is all the way up, uh, or are we going to go the Lee boot, uh, which is the slightly shorter, tiny popper skin sandwich, which is quite cute, we thought, also, because uh, she's got a great shaped leg. Um, yeah, so, so while Caitlin's explaining her choice, uh, have a little think and and uh, and let us know. Put in a comment. Put in a comment. Mel needs your help. help. Yeah. help. Like, help. We've already got a right foot radical. No. Oh. Okay, so Mel's first instinct was the right foot radical because you like the length that it goes right. Yeah. I personally don't mind the proper skin um, with the Lee boot. A bit more versatility. Now, what I did say to Mel was if you want to get the look of the radical, put an opaque tight with the lee boot in mm. black and then mm. you get that long yeah. line up your leg yeah. but having a slightly shorter boot probably gives you a little bit more versatility yeah. in terms of what you can wear it with because you can wear it with some pants you can wear it with shorter skirts and have the leg on show um whereas you might feel like you're just a little bit more restricted by the longer boot it's definitely a statement yeah. but if you want to get that look with the shorter boot opaque black tight will do the same thing yeah oh, i thought that was an amazing amazing tip the other thing too is that mel is our ultimate size guide lady as well so you know we always rely rely on renee and annie for the size 41 uh 40 41 42 half so mel comes in you're usually a standard 40, 40 yep. um and you are in a 40 in the radical boot is 40 that right? in the radical yeah and then we've we've actually put up hi andrea <laughs> Uh, we put it into the radical. Uh, the uh, she's put herself into the Lee boot actually in a forty one. And her comments were that she found it a little bit firm over here to get into to start with. So she's gone up a size and she's getting a much better feel and fit in through this area here. So I thought that was actually really good advice. That for normally a, a size forty foot that she's gone to a 41 in the lee boot just to get that little bit of extra width and feel over the arch yep. is that right yep. yeah absolutely yeah so it feels better across there and um the length is fine too yeah the length is fine too yeah. yeah so um so yeah you could ask mel any questions about her 40 41 um and then so you're feeling like you've got enough uh, length in the other the um radical boot so the radical um comfortably at the end so yeah just okay. like normal. Yeah, yeah, just like normal. And that's the 40 on you. That's yep. good. Because that's a new, but actually both of them are completely new developments for winter this year. So it's quite good early in the season, getting a bit of a gauge on how they're fitting and feeling on. Um, oh, that's super good. Oh, thanks, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a mixture of both. It's actually quite even, to be honest. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, helpful, ladies. That's no. so helpful right now. <laughs> Someone said radical boot really modern and on trend. Oh yeah. True. yeah. Um but then we've got Lee Boot, Lee Boot. Right foot, Lee Boot looks great. Right foot radical. Okay. Love that dark blue dress. Oh yeah. Toss the coin. Oh gosh. Right. <laughs> okay, so thank you ladies for confusing Mel um, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Thanks, 
walk around. For yeah, she's got to she's got to walk around and kind of percolate. And uh, I tell you what, we'll do at the end of the live is we will write the, her decision so that you don't feel left out of her decision making yeah. process. So that she you know what she's got. Don't let me hang. Don't let me hang. I want to know what she got. Uh, anyway, so today, Caitlin, because obviously Caitlin's in with us. Ta -da. Uh, and today we thought we would profile the Sussex sneaker just simply because it's such a great time of the year to be putting our sneakers back on again with a little bit of rain outside, bit of a dip in the morning temperature. Uh, and Caitlin will be in stay tuned. We'll probably send it out the medium doing a how to wear the sneaker three different ways. Yep, yep. to match your style personality, whatever yep. it is. I'll yep. do that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So gorgeous. So what we thought we'd do today is just quick. Well, t today while we're on the live together, is just quickly run through the options of the new Sussex sneaker. Uh, what colorways they they come in, and I know you're all going to be like. Like, like totally girl crushing on <laughs> Caitlin's outfit because it's so bright and sparkly today. Um, so Caitlin, talk about your outfit, talk about your shoes. Uh, okay, so, um, you, like you said, temperature's a bit weird. Like is it yeah. hot, is it cold? So I do have the lounger shirt on with a full cami bra underneath um, because just the, a little nip in the morning, but then the, the room in the lounger shirt. Yeah. I've just done a single tuck. Can um, I just step yes. you back? Yes. The cami bra, is it yes. all in one? It's literally like, it's a bra. Oh my gosh, where did you get that It's from? an Intimo bra. So if you Intimo, like the Intimo yes. t-shirt bra, yeah. it's in like a cami as well. Oh, genius. Yeah, that's such so a good, good idea because you still like, get that shape. Yeah, and the detail. So like, I don't yeah. mind that yeah. because the whole cami is there. Like, I think yeah. if you had bra than skin, yeah. like the, uh, that to me is like where you know bra. Yeah. Um, but I don't mind that that detail there. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the black skin. Yeah. So it kind of works too, right? Yeah. Um, and I also, I do like a shirt buttoned yeah, up. Like even great. though I've got boob and the whole thing is, oh, it's very V-neck. Don't yeah. always wear a V-neck. Yeah. Um, I like, it kind of is a bit more preppy, yeah. polished look. Yeah. So I button the yeah. lounger shirt all all the way up. Yeah. Um, and then some little sequined pants because I do love a sequin in the day. Yes, someone said where are the trousers from? I saw I saw the thing. Um so that the season, last season. Kind of relatively current. Yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Um, Vicky said in Timo bra. Into my bra. Into my bra. bra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Into my bra. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the cami bra. So it's their normal t shirt bra built into a cami. Yeah. It's bloody genius. Yeah. Um, Actually, we should tag into my home. <laughs> <laughs> um, so half tuck. So for me, the full kind of yeah. ouch thing is a little bit kind of boxy. Yeah. Um, but also mum tum didn't want to expose a whole bunch. So I've just done a little bit of that half tuck in there to create yeah, a bit of nice. camouflage. Yeah, that's um, good. And then a white trainer because again, sequins can be quite dressy, right? So I think if I put a boot yeah. or even like a loafer or a sandal on, it just feels a little bit too dressy. So yeah. the trainer for me is really... Grounding it. Yeah. yeah. So part of my style personality is I like to add a little bit of edge to things. Yes. And so the trainer for me is kind of adding that sport lux. I've got like the gold kind of plate matching with the gold sequins. Yeah. Um, and I like that they're sporty looking yeah. rather than the classic yeah. trainer. Because I think again that just brings the outfit down yeah. Yeah. a little bit more again. Yeah. So and so technically, uh, while well, we've got these on the Caitlin's foot, we can talk about Caitlin's shoe size. She is a she's a forty also, yeah, yeah. and it's pretty uh, and is feeling standard in this yeah, 40. Standard forty. Yeah, there's lots of room in through here, a lot of depth in through this last. So um, if you do have a wider foot, you are going to be quite sufficiently comfortable in this sneaker. Um, so let's talk about the sneaker. So inside, you've got a beautiful soft leather lining uh, and all the padding um, in through this little ankle area. With with um, ankle padding sneakers. I reduce the padding because I personally hate looking down on a lot of squidge of padding. It makes your, your ankles look fat. So there's just enough padding in there to give it that really sporty kind of soft look and that softness um, to it, but not enough to make it look too over-toasted in through that area. Um, you've got a mesh. Um, a mesh in through here which is nice and foamy and soft and what I've done is I've actually lined the mesh with leather so um, so you get the full um, I, I guess um, surrounding of leather on in the luxury feel of that and underneath the foot there so you're not going to get any of this mesh rubbing against your foot um, but it's going to give you that kind of sporty look it's also, also going to be slightly more waterproof than if this was all open and airy um, you've got a little bit of minx binding up through the front here so you can pull your tongue up nice and firm um, which 
which is quite fun. Um, you've got a little eyelet in the top there, so it's easy to quickly speed in and out of these sneakers. And then you've got the multi-sole on this, which we're not utilizing too much in the white colorway. Um, but what you may or may not be able to see in through here is that this is actually covered in the matching leather here uh, with a gold plate, black outsole, which is rubber. You've got a, a memory EVA uh, foam in through here, which makes them nice and soft for um, running in um, or walking fast, as I prefer to do. There we go. So here we go. I can show you this here in the other colorway. This is your multi-combo. Can't remember what actual combo that was. Sussex. Lemon, 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 denim, lilac. Lemon, oh yeah. Yeah, that's hard to say. Oh yeah, that's really hard to say. So lemon, lemon, <laughs> oh, I did it twice. Yeah, yeah. Denim, lilac. lilac. <laughs> it's because you were thinking <laughs> denim but saying oh, yeah. lemon and there's a little pop of white through here so um you can see now that that uh where we've utilized that heel covering in there with the leather uh the white through here the white coming up through this uh center line um and you still you've got your mesh there and that lovely lovely lilac which you girls are loving the lilac this season and then you'll see what i mean it's all fully um lined on the inside there so you get that nice softness against your skin so that's the other colorway in it and then i've just thrown on on. Um, uh, I've just thrown on the, um, I think we call this a black multi, was it? Black something? white blush. A uh, black white blush, okay, there we go. So um, again, I've just got the white in through the heel here, white in through here. The black and white um, minx tab up through the front tongue area, and then that little pop of blush and gold. Uh, to tie back with the um, with the gold plate in through the back there. Um, if, if that's all a bit too much, uh, you can just do the black on black. Um, and you can see like, the covering in black there, uh, the white and black and through the tongue there. So it's just a really nice, easy, kind of sporty look. Um, Casey said, is there room in the sneaker for, and I don't know this word, for Uh There, well, you can't unfortunately take the, um, oh, sorry, I'll come down. <laughs> um, you can't unfortunately take the insole out of these. So what I would recommend doing is if you are going to wear an orthotic in them, and it also is very subjective because some people have very big bulky orthotics and others just have little slim arch supporting the orthotics. So it just depends on what kind of orthotic you have. I recommend going up a size in them. Um, and so then you'll be able to, should be able to fit your orthotic down inside them. But do, if you are wearing orthotic, I would really honestly recommend that you do come in, put it in the shoe and try it before you buy it, just to make sure that you are going up enough sizes to get a nice good fit in there. Often what they do is take a bit of fitting out of the heel, so you just want to make sure that, that you're using all the beautiful moulding in there, that it's sitting in the right place on your heel, um, in particular if you've got an orthotic and things, so yeah. We don't have, we don't really cater for orthoses that much, um, but winter is a good time if you do want to wear a fashion shoe with an orthotic, um, because you do have an opportunity with lace ups to kind of, you know, really anchor your foot down with, by going up a size in it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say about your black uh, trainers as well, the Sussex and the black. Yep. If you want, if you like the look of a black ankle boot, but again, want something a little bit less. Dressy, black train is a great idea. Yes. So like Nay's got a black ankle boot on with her skirt now. Yeah. And you could put that same boot on, but you could top it out for the trainer. Yeah. And it just feels that like little bit more cash. Yeah. Which is a really good alternative. Yeah. That's if you're an ankle boot girl, yeah. a black train is always a really yeah. good. Because mm. it blends in. Like you could put a white trainer, but it would be mm. quite a pop of, yeah. like quite intentional. Well, I always, you know, I honestly think, and I need to try this ladies, so don't quote me just yet, but I, um, I like to pull on my little walking pants on. <laughs> <laughs> my little bit of lycra uh, in the weekend and like a like a little fleecy type thing and the black trainer rather than a white trainer for summertime. Yes, it, it feels a bit more uniform. Yeah, yeah it like does. Like the little sporty luck, yeah. whereas the white yes. trainer is like, oh, yeah. the white trainer. Yeah, 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 totally, totally, totally. But it would be like me wearing the black trainer with this. There's no black yeah. in the rest of the outfit, so I wouldn't do it yeah. for anchoring. Yeah. So I think that yeah. I love it like a black trainer because yeah. it's going for like a casual, yeah. it's that sporty luck look. Yeah. 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 Look in the part, but not doing the thing. Some exercise. <laughs> I honestly feel that I could probably go for a good, a good strong walk in these. I mean, they are constructed with rubber outsoles and um, and it's hard wearing rubber and things. So you probably could. I do need to try it though before I actually start it off as a good, <laughs> good supportive walking shoe. Yeah. Uh, ladies, do we have any questions for Caitlin this morning on wearable wacky Wednesday? Um, <laughs> wacky Wednesday. Wednesday. Wardrobe, wearable wardrobe Wednesday. 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 <laughs> it's an alliteration here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone can think of a good name for, yeah. for Wednesday? Yeah, for our Wednesdays yeah, with Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. Yeah. Mary yeah. says the black trainers are awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> and someone asked while we were waiting for the reply if we would ever do unisex. Unisex shoes or boots? 
Well, we did toy with the idea. You know, there's a lot of androgynous dressing at the moment, and which basically means you could swing either way um, in terms of, you know, a male wearing this boot would be totally acceptable. It's just whether we go up um, big enough in the sizes of the outsoles. And that actually is more of the problem. Um, we could easily cater for men, um, but men generally don't don't change up enough in a season, um, which is a bit frustrating, you guys, you guys. Um, yeah, and then it's all about the sole unit. So to get these sole units moulded is a really costly, like to tool for them, is a really costly, expensive exercise. And we often have these chats with Willow Shoes, with the beautiful girls, um, Georgie at Willow and things. Um, it's a huge investment to put these sole moulds in to get the moulding first before we even make a shoe in these longer sizes. Um, so yes, if you're a male and you wanted to wear that radical boot, I reckon you could rock it and no one would even know that it was originally designed for a female market. Um, we did toy with the idea of Manx. <laughs> That's a bad name. <laughs> but just did it. I just don't think it sounds right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> No, it's a good fair note. Uh, so yeah, so I would give it a go. Um, I don't think anyone's is going to look sideways. To no, be and no one's yeah. going to see the label on the inside anyway, so they're not going to. Yeah, or maybe they think we just do it. Yeah, yeah, so it's just the sizing thing. That's yeah, the... it's just the sizing mm. thing. In all honesty, yeah, generally, typically men do tend to have slightly wider feet as mm -hmm. well. But I just try. I mean, honestly, um, they come in, mm. have a play. Yeah, we should. Going. Yeah, yeah. Get my husband down. Get him trying on a few things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, right, have we got any more questions there, Ellen? We do not. No, well, that's great. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Look out for Caitlin's post today. Yep, yeah, little deal. Socks. Oh. 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 I get him. That's all right. Oh, thank goodness for Caitlin. <laughs> so, what we thought we would do to inspire the trainer for today, in fact, this whole week, um, whatever you buy, we will color coordinate you a little lace socket. So um, if we're sending you out like this multi one here, we'd send you a little yeah. white socket. So, so um, buy a Sussex, get a socket. Yeah, buy, yeah. A, Sus buy a Sussex sneaker uh, from now until Sunday midnight, and we will uh, automatically gift you the right size lace socket uh, to go inside. Uh, I know Caitlin was, she often gets asked, it's like, what do I wear? You know, do I show a bit of sock or do I not? And um, we decided that this is actually, you know, it's a really good product. These are the perfect trainer socks because they just you can't well you can't see them well you know we could play your music do you want to strip off your yeah. suit <laughs> yeah. 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 so okay that's going to take off your sneaker to reveal what is underneath and you look like you had a question there Ella. i was just going to say so for everyone who wants to know you don't need to add anything to your cart no, we are just no, going to do that ourselves yeah. we will automatically gift you without you doing anything so you go and buy us a six sneaker from now till um, midnight sunday and um the girls will match your size with the right socket uh, automatically which is another twelve dollars fifty of value so yeah it's a good deal and they, they are the best like they're the only little sockets I wear under anything now because you've got the grip as well like just mm. that little grip inside because it's always that question about oh but my my socks slip down these yeah. have never once well down. and I think what we've done too through like a lot of customer feedback is that we've now sized these so there are two sizes small medium medium large and the cutoff is about a 39 so if you're a 39 and above we'll send you a medium large and Caitlin's right all around the top line of these sockets um, is a th very thin um, layer of silicon and what the silicon does and it's soft it doesn't burn your skin or anything what it does is it just prevents it rolling down on the heel and rolling down here when you're putting your foot into your shoe uh, and then if I just get I don't know how we're gonna do it. if I get you to turn around and just show the salt yeah so uh, what you're standing on is a beautiful soft cotton it's been um, triple washed so it is nice and soft underfoot um, cotton piece uh, and then again we've got our little logoing here in silicon which you might think oh it's just a logo but actually what that silicon does it's very soft you can't feel it underfoot but it prevents your foot from slipping around and moving within within your um, shoe so it's all designed to stay on the foot and stay upright on the foot for the whole day um, so that is our little lace socket uh, it comes actually in the nude shade it comes in white Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at you go with all your marketing. It comes in white, black, and I think these are also a grey colour in it as well. You can buy them individually, and you can buy them also in a three-pack. So, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so you can see when Caitlin puts it on, you might get the tiniest pop of lace, but uh, you can see in this, you don't even see the lace there, which is, which is quite nice, and you know your foot's nice and comfortable inside. Yeah. Beautiful. So... 
And to close off, Julie says, Manx cat has no tail, comes from Isle of Man, so kind of unisex, lol. Well, there you go. There you go. We can do Manx, not Manx. Yeah, we can do Manx, not Manx. I agree. Thank yeah. you. That's really good. Thank you for that information. I didn't know about that little cat. Now, I was going to say as well, if you guys want the info on the star personalities with the Sussex, make sure you sign up to the Manx newsletter. Yeah. The EDM. Because there's yeah. an EDM going out today yeah. that's got a couple of different styling tips on how to wear your trainers. Um, that's a really good point. And to get the sign up, just go onto the website and a little thing will pop up in, uh, within like a m less than a second, a couple of seconds, saying, Do you want to subscribe to the um, mailing list? Just hit yes and fill in your uh, brief details. Not only a couple of questions, name and email address, I think. Yep. Um, so yeah, so and then we can then we can make sure we actually spreading every Friday. Mm -hmm. We send you our EDM recapping all the things, and then we do maybe one just direct kind of if you've missed it sort of. Yeah. So we're kind of trying to have a theme of the week. So yes. The theme of this week yeah. will be Sussex trainers, how to wear them, socks yeah. wear under them, what to do with them, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Super good. Uh, any questions on uh, trainers or anything like that that we haven't covered that you've been dying to ask? What did Mel choose? Send a uh, an email through to us or just send a question in the um, in the live below. What did you choose, Mel? We're going to ask Mel what she chose. She's still hesitant. Might not be a decision yet. Well, she may not have decided yet, ladies. The Lee has a. Oh, the Lee, the Lee boot, the, the Lee. Lee boot. So the Lee boot was the one with the little buckle strap on it. The shorter one. Um, the shorter one in black. So, oh yeah. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> the ladies are so curious. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.